Hello. Hello. Good morning. Well, good evening, good afternoon, depending where you are. And this is Nadine from Nad's X Stitch, and this is Floss Tube number 14. One four. Um, right, it's Sunday, 5th of July here. It's about midday, more or less. Uh, slept a bit in this morning. We had um, friends over in the garden yesterday, so can imagine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll keep all the as you as I've been doing lately in the last couple of videos. I think I'll keep all the um, personal catch up till the end, right? So I'll start with the cross stitch straight away. So yes, this is a channel about cross stitch um, and a little bit about myself. And here we go. So first thing I want to mention is last week I mentioned I'm gonna I'm gonna try and start covering a few of the UK retailers or dyers or you know um, where I get threads and that kind of thing. I will not start that today. It's it's actually when I set and started listing things I thought you know I want to do this right and I heard about the itchy nose you know. Someone was mentioning the itchy nose when they start floss tube, and now I've just noticed that I'm doing it too. I didn't realize it was a thing, but it is. Anyway, so yeah, so I've decided that I want to do it. Well, the features like I want to give you where they are and <clears throat> websites and links and what kind of things, not just the stuff I've ordered from, but what other options they have and that kind of thing. So I have to do a bit of write up about it, and I've started, but I'm not. I don't feel like I've put together enough information to do it today. So I won't be starting that today. And I'm still trying to decide if I want to do it as a separate kind of thing instead of my weekly floss tube or put it together with the floss tube. But today I was going to go through my stitch alongs anyway. So it's going to be a long video, but long, longish. Anyway, so I couldn't add even more to it because then it's just become silly. So today I want to show you a finish, um, whips I worked on, one of them Jolly July, the, a new start, I love new starts, and then I want to go through, I, you know me, I'm all like, let's start all the stitch alongs, yes, I'm going to join this, I'm going to join that as long as I like the pattern and I either have it or, you know, I, I plan to to have it in the future I'm like I'm in I'm right in so so I've I have quite a bit of a list of stitch along so I'll go through that and tell you my plans in case someone of you would like to either join or follow these stitch alongs so I'll do that and then we'll talk a bit about my what I received this week and I wanted to talk about Bella Filipina as well because lately I've been having a bit of a craze about them. So, I think that covers it all. And Stitch Wars from Stash. So, I'll start with that first and foremost. First of July, I decided, I mentioned this many times, but I've decided that, sorry for the video thing, I'm trying to position you properly. Um, I decided that I'm going to join Stitch from Stash. My budget is going to be £20. I have quite a few Fabric of the Month clubs and I've got a Thread of the Month club. So those don't, don't count in the £20 budget. And I plan to continue them. Uh, I did already reduce one last month or the month before, but the rest I plan to continue them for now. So I'll still have some stuff coming in. It's not like I'm going to feel like I have nothing or I'm not buying anything. And then I'll have £20 to get the stuff that I'm missing from what I want a kit or any new pattern that I just cannot live without. Right? Something like that. Um, and I'll be trying to focus on my whips and try and get some of them done. And the stitch alongs I've got, like, ugh, I have so much. I know. I, I didn't realize how much I've signed up for until I sat down and started listing them. And then I was like... Oh, Oh, wow <laughs> I said yes so many things but I really want to do all of them I'm not gonna reduce any of them for sure so anyone I mention, I'll be mentioning a lot of people especially with the whole stitch along thing anyone I mention especially if they have a floss tube I will link down and I will link all the those patterns so anything you need you should find it in the box in the description box Um, so stitch from stash I've got 20 pounds budget um, 
any finishes I will get um, credit I have quite an expense going out in November like a personal expense so I have to watch out and make sure I save enough money for this personal expense um, in November so I'll be watching out a bit more um, it, the group is well the host of the group is Stephanie Kane she used to have a floss dupe but she's not recorded in a while but yeah it's in on Facebook it's stitch from stash there is actually two you have to watch out which one you join if you want to join one of them there's a stitch from stash where it's literally people stitching from stash and posting pictures that's it the one I'm doing is the one where you count your credits and how much money you're spending and all of that and that's called stitch from stash 2017-20 and um, I will link it but yeah how it works you check in every month and then you tell them you're either in the red which means you've overspent and now you are with the negative sign or else you're in the black where you've not overspent or you've worked enough or had enough finishes to cover your expenses plus the budget right so so yeah i'm gonna give it a go it's it, it refreshes how it works is it cycles between the the first cycles first january until end of june and the second cycle is first of july until the end of december so I've started from fresh on the 1st of July. Everyone else would have started from fresh as well. So yeah, let's see. Let's see. I've already spent. But I already have plans on how by the end of the month I will make it up. So be fine. It'll be fine. But from next week, I will probably start covering um, where I am if I'm in the red or in the black at that point in time. Can you hear the guys scream van? But I actually, yes, um, there's an ice cream man that I just passed that um, comes over around lunchtime. But did this happen last week? No, it didn't. It didn't because last week I, I recorded on a Monday morning. But uh, yeah, we've got an ice cream van or two that pass by and you can go outside and get ice cream. Pretty cool. But yeah, so we'll start with the finishes. My finish, which won't be as a surprise because it was almost finished last week anyway right is the summer stitch along by Nadista. that's my finish you all know my not so much love for ironing so sorry i didn't iron it i actually am going to store this i don't know what how i'm gonna finish it or where i'm gonna put it so i'm i'm just it's just going in my box my box of finishes for now and then i'll decide actually i have a corkboard like big corkboard now and I've put up some of the cross stitch with some photos so I might pin it there I might iron it and pin it there since it's summer for a month or two so that's my finish last week it was finished from the cross stitch if I remember well and I had like this part of the back stitch done and I did all the other back stitch so it took me another day to do all the other back stitch it had a lot of back stitch in it but there you go I've got it finished and I'm very very happy that I finished it so that's gonna go in my box and I finished that in June so I won't get any credit for it for stitch from stash because I finished it at the end of June I didn't carry it over to, to July so then what I worked on also at the end of June was the linen and threads mystery cell and um, the sampler linen and threads sampler mystery cell you choose the colors you want to use you know it's 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 very versatile and it's beautiful and also um there's loads of people doing it so if you find a group on facebook um i will link it yeah it, if it's even if you don't want to stitch it it's worth going in and having a look, look at what everyone's doing it's just gorgeous so this is where i am up to you should I'm, i'll be putting pictures of things like where it should be and that kind of thing so you'll, you'll see all of that so this one january had a part up here february had another part march had another part april was this big motif right um i am doing may so i need to catch up on may june and now the july was issued right so i plan to at least catch up on may and june this month um this is one of the motifs for me so that's where i've been working on and the the light is not great so let me see if i hold it on this side 
Yeah, there, that's better. I chose the colors to match my sofa so that I put it in this room. Uh, let me see, there you go. So this motif, sorry, this motif, there is only like the flower, I, I guess I would call it yellow here to do. Um, it's not all of May, so there is another motif here and a small little, I call them confetti motif, but I know confetti means something else, but this little thing, I call them confetti motif because it's like confetti all over the place. So there's one of a small one here and then another motif here. So I am hoping I'll work some more on it next week and finish May, all right? And that is being worked on a 32 count Belfast by Zweigert in vintage grey. So you see it's got like marbling in it. It's one of those where if I open the back, the back is just, sorry, I'm trying to show you the empty one. The back is just plain and then the front is all marbled up. And it's got, it's a bit scrunched up because I was working it in hand. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going through a phase where I'm mixing up a lot how I work on things and sometimes I'm just finding it easier especially when they have chunks of colors and not too many color changes I've been finding it easier to just grab and, and work on it and um, if there is a lot of color changes I just I don't I don't do that in hand for sure right so I worked on that for a day more or less or a day and well two two nights and then I stopped working on this because I had a new start on the 1st of July, but that's gonna go in the new start. For now, I'll show you whips. So we're finished summer sale. I worked on the linen threads. For jolly July, I said I will work for a couple of days every week on a, one of my Christmas whips, and I'll have a start, which is, will be part of the um, stitch alongs. That's okay. But this week, what I decided to work on, which was a mania start, is my snow village. Let me see how I, um, it's a big piece of fabric because I'm doing this, the full thing in, in one go. So I'm trying to see how I show you better. That's, I'll show you where I was up to. Literally where I was up to was I had village done and the S, maybe the N as well. I'll put in a picture. Anyway, so this is where I am now. So I've, this goes really quick. I was very surprised. I worked on it for two days and I got the banner done and I got all of this done down here, right? And this is being worked on, oh, I should have, it's it's a pyramid. It's what's called for, it's here. It's a 32 count three French rain by pyramid and it is what it's called for. It is. Um, you saw that I had a lot of fabric. Reason being is this is a 11 part. Um, I'll show you pictures. Um, but yeah, it's it's an 11 part um, design. So you'll see it comes in all these little motifs. Well, not motifs, but it's got little parts to it. It's got 11 parts. At first, I wanted to. I I just I had decided at first that I'm gonna finish them like this. So individually, I needed a certain amount. I like to leave quite a substantial border when I'm finishing like that. So we bought, Michael bought me a fat half as a gift and to do it that way. When I came to start it and we started discussing it, we were like, no, let's do it all in one go, which I'll show. And that saved me a lot of fabric. So I still have like half of the fabric there, which I'll be using because it's really nice for permanent, especially, you know, I don't, well, people who have, followed me before know that I'm not a big lover of pyramid but this is actually a nice one also my my needle minders so that's Agnes little minders she has a new line tonight it's a um, ocean seas uh, line and it's beautiful it's gorgeous I don't know how I'm gonna resist quite honestly and that's a clay by Kim's but yeah so I'm very happy with this. I do want to touch it again this week and finish at least this part. So part one, I want to finish it by the time I see you again next week. And that's that. So that's the whips I touched. This was a mania start. 
um, the next thing I want to go through is new start. So last week I mentioned that I wanted to start pandemic, but I had ordered threads and I didn't know when they were going to arrive and we will start it depending when it arrives. The threads arrived Monday or Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, I think. And these are paint box threads. That's the color palette that I have from, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these two bright yellows. So let me remove those. And it's just because I bought sets that came with it. So that's the kind of colors. It's a bit of a Timmy kind of color with reds in it. Um, because they arrive Monday or Tuesday, uh, the girls, I'm doing this as part of the stitch along. The girls had start, had planned before I joined them that they were going to start on the 1st of July. We could follow that plan and we started it. I will go through this with the stitch along. Um, who I'm stitching along with and, and that kind of thing but those were part of haul as well so this is like haul stitch along slash new start and this is where I am that's my new start I am working this on a 32 count Murano by Chromatic Alchemy called Midas and actually later I'll show you the difference between Belfast and Evenweave because I have a piece of Belfast of this. So this is where I, well, I am. I worked on it three days. I think this motif is going to be huge. Like that's only not even a quarter of a motif. It's going to be huge. But um, let me take this. So I want to work a bit more on this. I'm hoping I get one page done in July. Pages are not too, too big. So we'll see, we'll see. You'll see the needle minder. I got that for free with Miss, my Mrs. Seda silks. Uh, Raquel sent, always sends a needle minder in her, um, in her packages, which is really nice. So I'm, I'm mixing the colors as I go along. I don't know how I want to change, choose the colors yet and how it's going, but I don't know. So I will, I do know that my base color will be this dark brown. And then I did a mix of dark red and like like a brighter red. That's a very, very dark brown. This is more of a maroony brown. This is like a dark brown, almost black. And I'll be using it for the birds. All the birds will be this color. Um, in here, there is a little heart. And I'm not sure which color I'm going to go with. It's either going to be either this burgundy or the bright red. Michael go, um, suggested I go for the burgundy. Um, I'll see how I want to do it because you'll see here how there is like stems, there's rose, there's buds, flower buds at the end. So I want to do that in the same color as well. It's 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 been hard. I like it. It's beautiful, but choosing colors as you go along, it's been hard because I, I I worry about oh what have I chosen? Will it clash when I go to the next page kind of thing so that has been the hardest it's, it's slowing me down quite a bit is because I just worry about the colors so much to try and mix it but we'll see we'll see I think no matter what it will look good it's pandemic after all so yes this is pandemic by long dog sampler and that's what I've worked on this week which I felt I, I worked quite a bit I it, it does feel like I've worked quite a bit so I'm gonna keep this here because by me because I am um, I'll be showing you in the hall um later as well. But first I wanna go through the stitch alongs. How oh, how oh, why did I send um sign up for so many? Sorry, my English is just but yeah. I'm I'm actually I say that, but I'm happy. I'm happy I did because that means I get to like check in with friends um and we're in groups and we chat about things and it was the whole point for me with this cross stitch community is to make more friends and it's been so great it really really has been great and that that leads me to something i do want to thank anyone who's mentioned me in their videos i do know that um lorna from lady bird stitches stitches stitcher sorry lady bird stitcher has um mentioned me I know that Lien, uh, more, I, I, I always worry I'm going to get the names wrong, right? So sometimes, well, when I'm not sure, I, I always write them because 
I call Leanne Morgana Stitcher just because it's, it's easy, Morgana Stitchy, when I look for her, but really her handle is Morgana Stitchy Moon 75, so 75. So that's why I'm, I'm, you know, I need to be a bit careful about saying the um, the names uh, to make sure that uh, I get it right. So, so yeah, Lorna from Lady Bear Stitcher, Ligan from Morgana Stitchy Moon Seventy Five. I know that Re um, Nicole Reed from Their Vanity Design Studio has mentioned me as well, but I don't know who else. And I do want to thank people. So you know, if you are here because I've been mentioned somewhere else, let me know, because I do want to thank them, right? I, I really do, so yeah, let me know. I feel like I'm missing people, and I don't want to do that, so sorry if I missed you, or, you know, if you if I haven't mentioned you, and you, like, mentioned me in the last week, thank you. I, I'm sorry, I must said someone must have, I didn't know, right? But yeah. Um, so, stitch alongs. Here we go. I am, I am behind. I want to mention this, sorry. If I haven't mentioned you, probably I haven't watched your video yet because I am quite behind. Work is manic. There's a lot of stuff happening at work. Um, so I've been very stressed about it. I have not been watching much floss tube. Yesterday I had people over from 2 p.m. So literally I woke up, I was washing, cleaning, and it's, it's just, I haven't, I'm really, really behind on floss tube. It is what it is, but I will catch up. I save old videos and then I'll catch up when, when next weekend, actually, I'll probably have a good catch up on Saturday. So yeah, stitch alongs. I feel like I'm making a bit of a mess of this video. It is what it is. I do have notes and that's the thing. The more notes I have, I, f I feel like the more I jump and not know what I'm doing. We'll see. Stitch alongs. So I think I have about 12, 13 stitch alongs, either planned or I started with. That's where I am. I have Alice going um, we will find about that in a previous video and so I've already started it and I will be trying to work on it soon. I have started Pandemic on the 1st of July. So I'm working Pandemic with Charlotte, the woolly headed stitcher, Louise from Angelic Minxine Moon and Jen from Not Cross Jen. I will link them all. We're using the hashtag Pandemic Pulsal. I will put that in the description as well. Feel free to join us if you want to join us. I know that a lot of people are working um, on, on Pandemic by Long Dog Sampler. It's beautiful to see everyone's choices and colors. I did join a Facebook group and that is especially for it as well so that I can see everyone's everyone else what colors they're putting and if it's monochrome if not it's just beautiful everyone's is beautiful um me Charlotte Louise and Jen are all working it differently um we have different fabrics we have different um thread I'm using a lot of different colors Charlotte is using a lot of different colors um Louise is using multiple colors, but not as many as us. Probably is it four or five colors, Louise? Well, one of them is variegated. So it has like four colors in it. It's greens and pinks and yeah. And then Jen is using two colors. Two or three. Oh, I'm sorry, Jen, if I got it wrong. But Jen is using DMC 115, which I absolutely love i love dmc 115 and i really want to do a sampler in purely in that color at some point it's a very it's a red variegated thread so look it up if you've never seen dmc 115 it is beautiful and so that's this week's a stitch along my i have another 10 or so stitch alongs that are gonna happen in the rest of the year so most of my starts are gonna be stitch along for the rest of the year I'll still have other starts you know me I'll just be starting all over the place but 
let's just join all the stitch alongs. If other stitch alongs come away, uh, come my way, and I have it kitted or whatever, I'm gonna be starting that too because that's how I work and how I roll. Um, so, pandemic. Another stitch along that I'm doing with Louise Angelic Minxi Moon is Moonshine by Silver Creek Samplers. I, everything, I'm going to show pictures. I just saw if I'm going to be pulling all these patterns, I'm going to be just all over the place. And I've been liking editing the video with the names and the, and the pictures anyway. So, Moonshine by Silver Creek Samplers. I'm starting that with Louise. We were going to start it already. I ordered some fabric from XG Design a couple weeks ago. And I, the more I thought about it, I had already put Feldspar for Moonshine, which I've already shown um, three or four videos ago. But one of the ones I ordered from XG Design, I thought, this is going to be perfect for Moonshine. Mm, what should I do? So I asked Louise to delay our start until I get the XG Design fabrics. And then I can choose if I want to go with Feldspar, which is by far right now my favorite picture this plus color. Um, or use the extra one. So that will start probably in a couple of weeks. We'll see when I get the fabrics and what I decide with Louise. We don't even have a hashtag for that yet, Louise. Maybe we need one. We'll talk offline. It's not like we don't talk most days anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's number two. I'm I'm starting. The, I'm numbering them from the first of July going forward. So if one was pandemic, two is moonshine. Number three is um, Charlotte from Clue Cross Stitching. I hope you say Clue, not C L U, but in your videos you say Clue. So Clue Cross Stitching. It's got a floss tube. I will um, link her as well. Uh, she contacted me and said, "Ah, oh, do you want to do a stitch along together?" I'm like, "Yeah." So we started talking a little bit. Charlotte is a lovely, lovely girl. And, you know, we became friends. We started talking and um, we were talking generally, like generic, not, not just like about the stitch along, but we were talking and uh, Charlotte mentioned that she likes Mirabilia's and Nora's, but she's never started one and she's worried about starting one. Most people are. I was worried too. Um, and I said, you know what? Let's start a Nora so they don't start with Mira, which is big, but let's start the Nora for stitch along. And then at least you have someone, a buddy, stitching it with you um, and we can compare notes and, and, you know, that kind of thing. So she said, yeah, you know, what Nora's and Mira's do you have? And maybe I'll get the same one. And I thought, I've got probably about 15 nor uh, Mira Bliers or more and another 30 Nora's. I thought, I said to her, look, just go online. Choose which it's gonna be your first Nora. Choose whatever you want, and I will I will start that with you. Um, my only thing with Nora's is a lot of her ladies that are facing forward don't have faces. I will chart a face. I cannot have a face without eyes and and mouth. That's just weird. Um, so I said to her, "That's the one thing. If I, if you choose that, I'm gonna chart their face." And she agreed that she, it's weird without the face. Um, I said, I like 95% of them, probably even more. I said, so the chances are whatever you choose, I'm going to like it. So Charlotte went on. She chose um, Sunrise Laguna Mermaid. And it happens that I've never done a mermaid. I've done only ladies up till now I've, and pixies and that. I've never done a mermaid. So it works out well because now it's going to be my first mermaid as well. It's beautiful. It needs... It has no crinic, but it's got DMCs, beads, and it's got water lilies. When I checked, water lilies are out of stock. What, like, most places in the UK, they're out of stock. I found one or two of them, and actually, I find them in a shop where they are in stock, but it's expensive. Like, most shops have it between five and six pounds, and this one has like six pounds seventy. And I thought it's over a pound more expensive than other shops. I will, that, that's, that's just silly for me to spend that kind of money and for Charlotte to spend that kind of money. It's it's unfair. So I have all the DMCs. I have half of the beads. So it, I have the pattern. 
it's upstairs um, so I need to dig it out so it was easy for me to kit except the water lilies I did message Kate from Lakeside and she said she just answered me this morning saying you know what I'm doing a current water lilies today or they're so they will be <clears throat> around in a few weeks when I checked the when I was looking at the picture and trying to figure out the colors, most of the current water lilies are in the border. So I said to Charlotte, you know what, if we started in the middle, that's all DMC. So it's gonna like, it, it will be fine. By the time we arrive to the border, I do like starting with the border usually. This is just a different, you know, situation. I said, if we start in the middle and then go out, by the time we get to the border, we would have kitted up the, the water lilies. So we agreed to that. We first said, oh, shall we start the 13th of July earlier? I, just now I was messaging her and we thought, you know what, maybe we should start it over a weekend rather than a main Monday so that once we start it, we have more time on it. Uh, Charlotte mentioned she's moving houses. Good luck with that, Charlotte. I've moved houses so many times. I know what a pain it is, so good luck. Um, so we decided, I think, we haven't decided yet, but I think we, I suggested that We'll start the weekend after, so she did, she's a bit more settled, and um, I'll see her reply probably after this video. Um, so that's stitch along start number three. Stitch along start number four. I've mentioned it before. Christmas at Hawk Run Hunnel on the fifteenth of July. I am part of. I've joined the group. Carolyn Zook has created friends with um, friends of Hawkrun Hollow. A lady named Andrea has put in, oh, why don't we all start Christmas at Hawkrun Hollow? Or why don't we have a stitch along? We start Christmas at Hawkrun Hollow 15 July because I do that. I say yes to everything. I'm like, yes, let's get in there. Last, the last video I showed what uh, fabric I'll be choosing. Uh, for it and I'll be pulling colors as I go along between silks and DMCs uh, from stash from whatever I have It did need a thread gardener silk and color. So I did buy that one. That's the only thread I did specifically for it So that will be start number four Start number five. I don't have a date for this one Manda from Pennington Terrace we need a date but i know you're still choosing fabric and thread and all of that and um, so yeah so it will be map of hawker and hollow i had this i was gonna start it anyway manda messages me and guess what she goes like guess what guess what i just got i'm like what and she shows me map of hawker and hollow and shores of hawker and hollow i think manda's gonna start shores of hawker and hollow with a few other girls there's a stitch along which i'll mention after this um, but I said I've got maps and I was gonna start it anyway so let's start it together so we haven't put a date on when we're, when we're gonna start it but we'll start it at some point I chose fabric already which I showed in the previous video and I'm doing the same as Christmas and I'll be doing the same with Halloween, Halloween at Hawker and Hollow I'll be pulling from my stash and, and putting some silks and putting some DMC in it that kind of thing um, with that, start number four. Now, on the 18th of July, it's Gail Phillips. Uh, Gail has a floss tube, I'll link her, but also on Instagram, she's Miss Stitch01. Uh, she, her birthday is on the 18th of July. She will be starting Shores of Hawkrun Hollow. I think Manda's going to be part of that, that's what I mentioned. She also mentioned on, the v on her video saying, you know, others that are working on Hawkrun Hollow, I thought 15th, 18th, they're very close to each other. I will work on the 18th on um, on Christmas at Hawk and Hollow and I will be joining Gail's birthday cell that way. So she's using, using hashtag Gail's birthday cell 2020, which I will mention below. But if anyone wants to join the shores of Hawk and Hollow, and also follow Gail. She's her, I love her floss soups. I do. So that's was four, five, four, five. That was five. See, this is it. I numbered them, and it's just useless. Six. No, six. It was five, and I'm going on six. So another 
person so with with girls with girls stitch along another person that will be joining that is Nicole Reed from their finally Stu they're finally design studios there you go quite a mouthful for me now Nicole Reed's birthday is on the 8th uh, 27th of August she wanted to do a stitch along but started at the beginning of August and uh, she was mentioning on uh, Nicole was mentioning on her video that night walked down by the blue flower will be what she starts for her birthday so it's like oh wow I showed it in my haul last week so I can join this. So at the beginning of August, I will be joining her birthday stitch along, which she will be using hashtag DD's birthday sell 2020. Um, and I will be starting night walk to town. That's start number six. Seven, I've got a seven A, seven B, because I have to like put something in the middle there. See, it doesn't work. I try to, I try to be, hmm. I try to be good, it just doesn't happen. 7A. So 7 is another one that you've seen me, like I've showed it, I've showed it kitted. It's beautiful things by Linda Stitches. Louise from Angelic Minx and Moons has worked it already, has finished it. I loved it. I knew I wanted it before, but when, when I saw her, I was like, I'm gonna have to like get it. I got it straight away. However, I also had mentioned to uh, Robin from Bird's Eye Stitches. Um, Robin mentioned that they will be starting it in September as a stitch along. And I said, I'll probably be joining that as well. So in September, my start will be beautiful things to join. Um, to join Robin. And I believe Carlin and another few people in their stitch along. So that will be start seven, eight, which is seven B on my paper. Carrie, my friend's Carrie, um, she doesn't have floss tube. Uh, Carrie's lovely. Oh, I can't wait until I go to a retreat where I meet Carrie face to face. Uh, we've met on the UK Mirabilia, the virtual Zooms we've been having. And in my first or second video, I showed the kit, a dimensions kit, and she's like, oh, I have it too. Why don't we start it at some point? And at that point, we had said, oh, maybe we should start it in October. I am not sure if the plan is still October. We'll see how we are then. It's fine. We've got the kit, both of us, so we can start it any time. But yeah, that, that will be, I had, to, I had to pull this one because the name is quite long. And it's called Alan Malis, 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 Gracious Era. I've got an old kit, you'll see. I will show photos as well. But yeah, I've got quite an old kit where they still packaged in the bags. So I've had this for a while. So Dimensions Gold Collection, Stitch Along with Kerry. I've, if you remember, well, I did Home of a Needleworker 2 with Kerry uh, last month. And, I, and we finished that. So I'm very, very looking forward to starting um, another Stitch Along. Kerry has enabled me as well. We'll mention that later. I can't help it. I just can't help it. We do have um, a Victoria, a Victoria sampler that is the same as well, and I love those because they have a lot of specialty stitches. So, Carrie, maybe we should start that as a stitch along at some point. Doesn't have to be this year, but maybe we should start that as well together. Right. Next. So that was eight nine so well i guess nine and ten in october i'm still hoping that our retreat will happen i'm joining the mirabilia group in a it's it's entitled nobam retreat which is not only but also mirabilians it will probably be a bella filipina weekend no it will probably it is definitely going to be a bella filipina weekend so i showed fabric for amphitrite in my last video i also mentioned gaia before i love gaia the earth goddess and i love amphitrite the sea goddess something like that um i ordered both kits from zarina at hawkins hobbies 
I will um, I will link her. Zarina is great for when you want a full kit for Mirabilia's or Bella Filipinas or Lizzie Kate's. It's just like gets them all up for you. And um, so with Zarina, I said, can you kit them up and get them in October in the retreat? As Zarina was going to be there, Zarina was like, yes, sure, leave it with me. And yep, I'll be starting those in the retreat. Charlotte, the woolly headed stitcher got both and fits right I'm starting because of her and I think she's starting Gaia because of me we said what we'll do is on the Friday of the retreat we'll start Gaia on the Saturday we'll start Amphi Amphitrite I don't even know if I'm saying it right Amphitrite Amphitrite whatever so we're gonna start those in the retreat so those will be two stitch alongs I will be doing with um with Charlotte but also Eileen should be like joining us in the Gaia one, at least. We're trying to twist a bit Louise's arm to start one of them with us as well. We're bad people. I know. But hey ho, that's life. That's cross stitch life. Um, but yeah, I'll be all of these. When I get closer, I'll probably use a hashtag. So not I'll probably I'll use a hashtag. We'll we'll, we'll make up a hashtag. But right now it's just like. Oh yeah let's start this and that's it for now we haven't done proper plans yet um another one i'll be starting with charlotte but we don't know when because um charlotte has a few plans and when she arrives to doing those plans then we'll, we'll start it so i don't know when we're gonna start this is my christmas list by silver creek samplers i did show this not last video video before i think i have it kitted um charlotte bought it after that video and we will be starting it together at some point so that's what? That's 9, 10, that's 11. Twelve hmm. hmm. is Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow. You all know that I wanted to start that, so I had three Hawkrun Hollow to start this year. Map, Christmas and Halloween. Halloween will, on the 31st of October, there's a stitch along. Um, Gail Phillips, Miss Stitch 01. Nicole from Dervana Lee Design Studios, Leanne from Morgana Stitchy Moon 75, Tia from Calm Creations. These are all Aussie friends and they're lovely. I love their floss tubes and oh, it's, it's nice to be part of a stitch along with them. And they'll be starting the Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow on 31st of October. I jumped on that bandwagon as well. And I'll be starting that with them. And the hashtag will be hashtag Halloween HRH cell. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12. That's start 12. And I have more. I actually have one more. So this is one that excites me a lot. And this will be actually a new year, new start. So probably a 1st of January start, so technically not this year, but I'm going to count it with this year. Um, I mentioned last week or the week before that uh, I was chatting with Lorna, Lady Bird Stitcher. She's from Australia. She was born in Malta the same way I was born in Malta. She moved to Australia when she was very young. She was five or six. I moved to the UK when I was 21, so like 10 years ago, something like that. Anyway. We have Maltese heritage. We were born there, we're Maltese. No matter what, no matter where we live, Maltese. I think that's why I have this tattoo. It's it's just, when I got this, I decided to, because it's the Maltese cross, I said, you know, wherever I go, whatever I do, the Maltese part of me will always be part of me. I will always act Maltese. I will always be Maltese. I will always have that Maltese culture, how I was brought up with my mom and my dad. and you know. I'm Maltese. So Lorna mentioned to me as she was speaking to me that she wants to start Templar Prophecy uh, by Long Duck Templar because and there's like the knights in it and there's elements that are connected to Malta even though it's not a Maltese Templar but there is certain elements that are connected to Malta in terms of our heritage and I thought oh, once she said that I kept thinking and thinking about it a week passed and I'm like I'm buying this thing. So I bought Templar Prophecy 
that's it. So we're going to start it on the 1st of January with Lorna, Lady Bird Stitcher. I have decided since I want it to be my, you know, there's a lot of people that do patriotic stuff. I guess in a way this is my patriotic one. So I want to do it in the Maltese flag colors. Now the Maltese flag, I'll show it up, it's half red, half white, and it's got the George cross on it, which usually is in gray or black. The short cross was awarded to Malta for courage in the war. And um, yes, so I decided to use red, white, and a little bit of black or gray. I'm still trying to decide. I'm actually, at first I thought, oh, I don't know what background what I'll do, but I'll do red, white, and some black. Now, I'm actually thinking, since it's half red, half white, I'm going to do either a white fabric with red thread and a bit of black and grey, or else a red fabric with white <clears throat> with white um, thread and a little bit black and grey in it. The more I think about it, the more I think maybe I want to try the red fabric, because I don't know when else I would try, I would use bright red fabric. I've been looking, Zweigert has a nice red, not Christmas red, but they have another red. Actually, Sparkly's has one called Vixen, which I would need to ask Kate if it's very red or if it's pinkish red, but there are already options. So the more I think about it, the more I think maybe I need red fabric, but I don't know. I don't know yet. So if you have, there's still six months, well, five months until I need to worry about it. But you know, if you guys have any opinion, let me know. But I think it would look good. So that will be my other stitch along. And that will take us to 2021. I don't know if we'll ha I'll have more stitch alongs. I'll probably do. But that's already like 11, 12, 13. That's 13 starts for the next seven months or so. I need to pace myself. And I need to stop doing this. I need, to be fair, in June I had three finishes. Um, I wanted to have at least two finishes in July. That snow village will be one of them. For sure, like that part. One, each part is going to be a finish for that one. So, so yeah. But a lot of plans, a lot of excitement. Anyone who wants to join any of them, you know, messages, message me or, you know, just join us. I think it would be very, very fun. I have Pavé, Long Dog Sampler, that is as a stitch along as well. So, a lot of stitch alongs. But yeah, feel free to join. Um, the more the merrier. I love seeing others working on the same designs. I don't mind. I know there is a lot of people going like, not a lot. There's a few people going like, oh, I'm tired of seeing everyone working on it, so I don't want to work on it. I don't work that way. I see others working on it, and it fuels me to work on it as well. I, I just love it. Um, so, yeah. if It would be nice if you share what stitch-alongs you guys are working on. So, you know, when you comment, feel free to um, mention what stitch-alongs you're working on. God knows, enablement is not what I need, but pff, enablement is what I love anyway. So I'll, I'll check them out as well. Um, so that, that was the stitch lots. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? Don't judge me. I actually judge me. I don't care. Do you think it's crazy? It is what it is. So where are we? Oh, I want to mention the Villa Filipina now that we've done stitch alongs. I've had, as you can see, or hear, or I've had a bit of a craze about Bella Filipinas lately. Um, I'm starting Gaia, I'm starting Amphitrite. I saw Kerry share, and she mentioned it, Pearl of the Orient Seas, and I absolutely love it. I love, oh, I, I just love it. I saw the picture, this is the problem with my Bella, the, with the Bella Filipinas. The cover photos are all, or mostly, not stitched, they're computer generated and I look at them and think mm -mm, I don't like that then I see someone stitch it and I think oh wow so that's what happened Gaia her face is gorgeous when you see it stitched Amphitrite I have never seen it stitched but it's, it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous design I couldn't help myself Pearl of the Orient Seas Carrie mentioned it then I saw so someone like a stitched version or a partly stitched version I thought oh, it's gorgeous so I ordered that from Kate Sparkly so I'll be getting the pattern and then I'll be kitting it slowly but yeah when Carrie says she's gonna start it I'll probably be starting it with her 
I know that um, Charlotte has it as well. The woolly headed stitcher, so that's probably another stitch along that's coming along. There you go. Also, the other thing is Luna Mystica. I saw someone actually, this lady Sylvia Andrews. Oh, sorry if I'm not supposed to put names, but this is in the Bella Filipina group. So, come on. Um, she's working on Gaia, but she also finished Luna Mystica and it's gorgeous finished. I would never liked it in the cover photo, but then when I saw it finished, I was like, it's gorgeous. So that's gone on my list of would like. I haven't ordered anything except the pattern. I have the pattern, I ordered it last week. Um, so that's at some point a start. And the other one is yesterday or the day before, on the first of the month, the new one came out. It's called Autumn Equinox Pixie. I am not sure of her face, but I really like the colors in it. So I will be getting that at some point. We did decide to wait for a little bit with like me and Louise, Charlotte, Jen, we were talking about it and we said we're going to wait a little bit before we order it. Charlotte shouldn't be spending Alfie's first birthday, her son. So that will be a spend. So we, I said, you know what, let's just wait a little bit before we get it. Um, we all agreed anyway to wait a little bit before we get it but that will be something that will come over plus I'm hoping that while we wait we see someone stitching it and we see how the face comes out because the computer generated face I'm not sure I like it but I like everything else just her face which I could rechart I guess but yeah that's that's been my latest craze it has been Bella Filipinas everyone knows I love Mirabilis and Norris I've got loads and I never had many Bella Filipinas, but now I am getting loads more. So, so that's Bella Filipinas. And I guess the last thing I want to show is what did I receive in terms of haul in the last week. So I got some stitchy kindness. A friend has sent these. She has already stitched them and she decided to pass them along and send them over to me. The I haven't asked the person if, if she wants to, her name to be mentioned, so I'm not going to mention the name. But um, oh, I should have gotten them out. She sent me three patterns. I love cotton cottage garden samplings. I have one or two designs. Peace on Earth is one of them that I started part of my mania um, of theirs. I love their Songbirds Garden series. I love more, more or less all of them. Some of them I might want to change, but... She sent me number, you see here, there's the numbers. There's, she sent me number two, 11 and 12. I will not be working all of these together. These will be individual on different colors because they are so different from each other. I want them to have their own fabric. Uh, the number two is merry and bright. It's pretty, so, so pretty. And that actually it's called for Dove linen from weeks that I work. I will not work on the cold for probably. I'll just see what I have. I have loads of um, fabric. Um, we all love, no, I love autumn colors. The number 11 is autumn dream. And that's how it is. I really like this fabric. It's sanguine, sangua, sanguine, S A N G U I N E from weeks that I work. I haven't seen it in any of the UK shops, so I'll probably not be able to get that. But I have, if you remember well, I got quite a few pinky colors. Um, so I'll probably be working it on Ash Rose by Zweigart or one of the pinky colors that I have already. And then number 12 is Heart Full of Gratitude. I do love those roses. Rose is my second name. And I, I just love how, what I love of this series is how everything has this little cottage. So they have houses, but they're tiny, the houses. Oh, that's a pumpkin house, how pretty is that? And then the birds, I love how they all have that. Oh, I just absolutely love them. So 2, 11, 12, I believe there is 12 in there. So I'll need to, um, I'll need to figure out where or when I'll get the others, but I've got more than enough to go on with. So I will, I probably will not buy the rest of the series. Actually, this last one I showed is on the same fabric as Dream. Gratitude, it is. So that's 
thank you. You know who you are. Thanks for sending those. Um, obviously, I will repay the favor at some point when I know what you want. Um, but yeah. Then the rest are stuff that I received in my shop. I forgot about this one. On a D stash, I had seen Crystal Symphony. It had a semi kit, so it's got fabric, and um, it's got fabric, it's got thread, and it's got beads. It doesn't have the crinic with it, and it's got some of the thread missing. The fabric is the cold for, which is. 32 count stony point by Wichelt. It's very hard. I don't know if I'll be putting it on this. Mm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be using this for Crystal Symphony. I actually, because of how she is, all of this being not worked, I think I will want a more mottled effect. Maybe a cobblestone, not cobblestone, but stone, like a wall stone color or kind of thing. So I won't be working using the this fabric but I'll probably cut down this fabric and because it's so stiff and use it on something else or I'll give away the fabric and um, I'm not a big fan of the Wichelt and Perman some of them are I really like and some of them I don't it's just it's one of those things so I got that from a stash I got my chromatic alchemy fabric of the month now this was from last month so this was a June it's a 32 count Belfast opalescent. As you can see, it's opalescent. And that's how it looks. I really like this. I will prop, I don't know what I'm gonna put on it. I keep saying, actually, no, I might put Mermaid of the Pearl of the Orient. Uh, oh. Pearl of the Orient Seas Mermaid Bella Filipina. I might put it on this. Maybe. I like that. I really like that. This is where Charlotte messages me and goes like, oh, it's not big enough or mm -hmm. don't do that, Charlotte. You, you ruin my plans. Well, you save my plans because if I do it and then it's too small, I'd be gutted. So, yeah. Um, with Chromatic Alchemy, she sends you an email on the first of the month. Sorry, someone here outside um on the first of the month and she tells you what's upcoming and she gives you the option to either skip or choose your fabric type i didn't like the july one quite honestly i have no idea what i would put it on it's called bali and it had like stripes of colors and i just didn't know what, what i would want to put on it so i'm gonna skip this month right however which works well. On a D-stash group, a lady was D-stashing three pieces of Chromatic Alchemy. I mentioned them last week already. I decided to get them. Um, one of them, well, I'll tell you which one I bought them for, but one of them is um, Midas as well, but it's in Belfast. And they're all 13 by 18. Now, look at that. I'm working on Midas for um, my pandemic, and that's even we that's even we that is Belfast Oop. do you see the difference big big difference and they're both beautiful so I'm so glad I got this because I really really like it um, and I got them for a very good price since they were a D such so that's my good if she had a piece in 32 count Belfast as well called June D-U-N-E June so it's more like a brownie sandy color it looks a bit grey and but it's actually brown and this is mainly why I ordered this piece we all love, know I love purple we know that we have I have a chromatic alchemy piece that I really love that is called is it Permanganate, permanganate, I think. This is a darker version. It's called Byzantium, and I absolutely love it. There you go. And it's such a deep, rich purple. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I had to get it. I got them for a very good price. So that makes up for me not getting the fabric of the month, this month for sure. 
And the final thing I received, which I'm super excited about, I, I really, oh, I wasn't expecting this right. Now, you know I love working on linen, but I've been getting very into the even weave colors as well. And um, I like how soft and how they blend in while with Belfast or linen, I know that it's going to be dark and the lines between each colors are going to be a bit more less smoother but with even wave they're a bit smoother so i've been liking having a mix and i like ada as well so i have no problem with ada and i like how that dies as well um i joined a new group on facebook and this lady megan she's coffee craft fabrics and um, hi megan i know you've been watching my video so hello and um, i will link her um i believe she's fairly new i think she's been selling on etsy for a while but on facebook she's just fairly new and now setting up a bit more she's got a fabric of the month which i am part of now and at first she had up to 28 count and i asked will you have 32 36 count kind of thing and she said yes i will well not last week the week before she put up a an album with 32 and 36 count I wasn't like the 30 I have loads of 32 count a lot and a lot of 32 count so I decided you know I'm gonna get some 36 count and see her colors I got it I loved her colors and I joined her fabric of the month so check her out I'll link her below you know if, if you like these but I am super in love with these and I'm really looking forward to using them I'm not sure what yet but I'm very looking forward to use them I should have prepared this. So I have three pieces. This is all in 36 count even weave. They don't have a name. This is like a brownie, pinkish, bluish kind of thing. Can you see them? I wonder if you can see the color well. Let's see. Yeah, that's really good. That's piece number one. Oh, I've been trying to match it. I don't know what I want. Like, I want to put everything on it. I oh, absolutely love it. Um, I had a bit of a smaller piece. I think this is like 9 by 9.5. And this is blues, greens, purples kind of color. Oh, it's lovely. And then last but not least, and I left it last because I think right now it's one of my most favorite. When I saw it, I was like, oh my dear, I really love it. And this was the original one that I liked most and I'm so happy it, it is how it is. And that is like dark pink, reddish pink and light pink with like some purple in it. Oh, how beautiful is that? That is a gorgeous color. And if she had a fat quarter of that, I would have pro probably gotten a, a fat quarter and put one of the mirrors on it for sure. I might see if it. Oh, I cannot. It's 36 count. I cannot put Nora's on it because the beads won't fit. Or I might put a Nora on it and then try the really petite beads. So choose something with not too many beads. I absolutely love that. This is by far one of my favorite um, fabrics. That I have so I'm looking very forward to start that so part of me doesn't want you to join the group so that I can buy loads but then I'm on stitch from stash so maybe it's a good thing and I'm gonna get the fabric of the month anyway Um, have a look coffee coffee craft fabrics I will link that and that brings me to the end of my video I finished with some of my best things it's beautiful they're beautiful and um, I will do a proper review when I do and I'll go through like her fabric of the month how it works and all of that when I do the UK dyers and um, so it's not the last you've heard definitely especially with getting the fabric of the month I'll be looking very forward every month to the colors I get and Megan has been lovely. She's been messaging. She, I know she's watched the videos and she mentioned, no, oh, I watched the videos to see what fabrics you like so that I know what to send you for the fabric of the month. And I was like, she's like, you seem to like everything. I'm like, yes, I just like everything. What I don't use much is like when it's a dark chocolatey brown, when something is just plain dark chocolate brown or like just 
mozzarella chocolate brown i'm not a big fan but then when the browns are mixed with other colors or it's a light like june was i like it but other than that i love everything so i'm very i know i shouldn't say this i'm very easy i'm easy yep i'm easy i'm easy to enable i'm easy to get into stitch alongs and i'm easy with color fabrics because i i think everything can there's something to be put on unless you end up with what i was seeing on chromatic alchemy which is too much of a stripy color um and they were a bit too much for me which is it's very rare it's a rare occasion that that happens but yeah um that's it for cross stitch feel free to log out i'll spend another few minutes about um how i've been i've been really good last week i was very excited saying that michael is gonna go back to the office this week that didn't happen Michael stayed home and worked from home this week as well he wasn't ready to go back and we're gonna give it a go again next week and we'll see if he'll be ready on Tuesday to go back to the office um, I'm working from home I'll be for the foreseeable future I've had a very good week um, I saw you on Monday since monday a lot of work but um on thursday i had a zoom meeting with oh well on wednesday we started pandemic so we had a zoom meeting with i had a zoom meeting with charlotte jen and louise and we started it together it was lovely on thursday night i had a chat a zoom chat with charlotte and eileen which i loved as well and then yesterday I had people over. We had like Michael's brother, his wife and a few friends over and we did a barbecue. So we had them over in the garden. We had a barbecue. It was lovely having them over. But you know, we have to clean the house and prepare and then I have to buy all the food for the barbecue. At least like the sides and all of that and prepare and the drink and oh, it's, it's, a, it's quite a lot of work, but it's very satisfying. And then waking up this morning as if I never cleaned the house because I just... I, I fret when everyone is around and I start throwing everything around and trying to prepare everything so I had to re-clean the house kind of thing, re-clear the house but um, yeah, no, this is um, it's had, we've had a, big, a very good week on Friday in the next week on Friday I have to take the car for a service, on Saturday I've got an appointment um I'll be going to like a beauty appointment and that's probably the, the only part I'm going to the to shops I'm still not ready to go to shops I don't want to rush into it especially because I don't want to get sick I'm really hoping that the lockdown continues easing up and on September I can go for a week to see my parents so I really really want things to go well so that I can go and see them because I miss my family I really do um, I really would like to go beginning of September because the kids start school at the end of September and I want to see my niece and nephew as well. It would be nice if they're not in school and we can do stuff with them during the day. But yeah, we'll see. Things are looking up for sure and I've, I've been okay. I've been very good. Um, I hope you guys have been good. Feel free to message and let me know how you're doing. Um, I always love your um, comments and also speaking to you guys. I think that's it for the day thank you for watching if you've stuck especially all through this full hour thanks for subscribing and for liking the videos it's it's i really love it i i love being part of this community and i will see you next week <laughs>